What's up everybody, Ryan here and in this video I'm gonna unbox and give you a first impression of the Garmin Apex Pro smartwatch that Garmin just released. Uh, as you can see I have the slate gray with black band version uh, plus I got the 47 millimeter because I thought why not go uh, for the one in the middle. So if you don't know there is a smaller version 42 millimeter I believe and also a 51 millimeter which is the biggest one. Uh, I think the 51 millimeter is gonna look uh, pretty huge on most wrists so I thought when I go for the one in the middle besides it gives it a bit of a more balanced look and remember that the bigger the size of the watch is the less it's going to look like a regular smartwatch so that's that's uh, that explains my choice with this one and this one is also a Gorilla Glass version uh, with stainless steel so not the titanium sapphire version and I still think this is a great watch there's of course nothing wrong with uh, Gorilla Glass and stainless steel. In fact, the watch that I'm wearing right now, it has Gorilla Glass and I've been wearing it for more than a year and there is not a single scratch or any dents on it. So of course it depends on what you do, but I think it looks great and it's probably very well built that we'll check. And this is the charging cable inside the box and some uh, materials. So right off the bat, I noticed that the bands look a bit different. Uh, as you can see, there are these dents here, and I believe it allows uh, the, the band to be more flexible around the wrist. I think that's the purpose, so we should see. But other than that, this is how it looks. Still pretty thick. I'm going to take a look how it's going to look on the wrist. Two buttons on this side, and two but three buttons here. They're definitely not mushy. Yeah, quite clicky buttons. Not too clicky, but yeah, very hard. And this is the back of the watch. So one of the biggest features of this watch is its new or next gen heart rate sensor. It's the fifth gen, I believe. And it's it's supposedly way more accurate than the ones before. So even the partial contact with the skin can you know read the heart rate pretty accurately. And we have the charging just like all the other Garmin watches on the back like this. Still no signs of wireless charging, which I would love to see uh, on, on my Garmin watch. And then we have 22 millimeter straps. So yes, the bezel is stainless steel. The casing is made of plastic and then the back is again steel. So that's how it's made. And it feels, well, pretty heavy, but perhaps not too heavy still. Uh, I don't know, I think it's on the heavier side, it's still a big watch, and it weighs 78 grams if I'm not mistaken, so yeah, we'll see how it feels, I guess I gotta test it and see how it feels, especially at night if I want to track my sleep, uh, that's really important. And this is how it looks on my wrist, I repeat again, this is the 47 millimeter version, uh, so the one in the middle, the one after that is 51 millimeters. Um, there's a smaller one for smaller wrists, which is 42 millimeters. I think it looks pretty good on my wrist and still quite big. And I can't really tell if this new band makes any difference. Uh, maybe long term it will, but right now I don't really feel any difference compared to, for example, this watch, which doesn't have that kind of design. So yeah, we'll see long term. And the next thing is to set it up on the Garmin Connect watch. By the way, I have a video about the Garmin Connect. I have a review video of the Garmin Connect app that you can watch. All right, starting it up. In terms of the difference between this watch and the FX2 from last year, the only difference is the fact that this one comes with a new heart rate uh, sensor and uh, a uh, new flashlight. So. You know, the Epix 2 was a great watch, and it still is a great smartwatch, but, uh, you know, I think I was a bit disappointed to not see the flashlight uh, on the Epix 2, uh, but see it on the Phoenix 7 series. And because I'm not really that much into MIP displays, uh, I didn't really want to get the, a Phoenix 7 watch. So that's why I decided to wait, and apparently it was worth waiting, because... I get to have a flashlight on my smartwatch. The only thing is that I think I might actually uh, 
want the sapphire titanium version rather than this one. I haven't decided on that one yet, but I might actually get the sapphire version for myself. And as you can see, it right away prompted me to add a sleeping schedule, which is great. So that means that it's great for shift work. And this is the flashlight. I'll just double press the light button and it turns on. And in terms of the battery life, uh, we get 16 days, which is fantastic. And it only takes one hour to fully charge the watch. And of course, if you use the GPS and if you use the watch uh, a lot in general, that's not going to be 16 days. But still, you know, that's plenty. Yeah, in terms of the first impressions, looks pretty solid. Uh, and if you see a bit of a lag here, there's a reason for it. So if I now pull up the glance view on this watch, you won't see that kind of lag. And that's because uh, on this watch, you don't get to control anything uh, when it comes at least to the gl glance view with the buttons. So you can't navigate, you can't go up and down with the buttons. So it's pretty, pretty fluid. So it doesn't matter where this one ends up. You can still touch it, right? But on this one, uh, you get you have the control. You can control the watch basically with the buttons too. So, for example, I can go up and down with the button just like this. And because of that, when you swipe up or down, uh, it always centers in, uh, you know, one of these options. So that's why you you feel like there's a bit of a lag, but there's no lag to it. That's just a bit of emotion that the watch is trying to center on one of them, the closest one to the center, basically. And there's plenty of activities that this watch can track. And it's great for, from, you know, casual activities to a real serious ultra marathon activities, going to the gym, you know, weightlifting and things like that. And even uh, riding bikes. I've heard good things about this watch in terms of the heart rate accuracy and riding a bike. All right, hope you liked it. See you in the next video.